This approach takes time and patience, but this is how nations gain control over other nations. It has proven to be the most effective path towards expanding one's influence and power, particularly in highly inhabited parts of the universe such as this. You do not want to be open to the universe. You do not want to reveal your activities, your conflicts, your difficulties, your aspirations, your plans and your goals to those who observe you. Your allies understand this, for they have had to maintain great secrecy regarding their presence in the universe and their engagement with other nations. Only those nations that are free can associate with one another more freely, but even then their engagement is limited and must be protected with great emphasis. You know not of the great disadvantage you are creating for yourself and broadcasting your communications into space. It is the problem of living on the surface of your world where everything can be observed. Many advanced nations in the universe have chosen to live underground for this purpose. And some have chosen to live underground out of necessity. For if your planet's climate system is disrupted, surface living becomes difficult if not impossible. Living underground has many advantages. Discretion is one of them. But that is not your condition now. So you will have to find other ways to maintain discretion. Your world is being watched. Your governments are being watched. Your conflicts are being watched. Your trade and commerce are being watched. Your tendencies are being watched. Both by your allies and by those who would seek to exploit you. In the future, should you gain a greater unity and should you be able to sustain the use of your world, the development of this discretion will become essential. For indiscretion is always exploited in nature. It always makes one vulnerable in nature and the universe is a natural environment, fundamentally. There are limits to technology. There are limits to travel. There are limits to what anyone can do with machines. You have not yet reached those limits, but they do exist. There are older races in your neighborhood who have reached those limits. And that is why they seek to use power in the mental environment and to develop this power both for their own defense and to take advantage of whatever opportunities may exist within their sphere of influence and within their local regions in space. Ultimately, no one on the outside should know what is going on in your world. Not even your allies or potential friends. They will respect this discretion. They will expect it. And they will understand it. This will require a very different approach to how you live and to how you communicate. Certainly, broadcasting the way you do is entirely inappropriate. That is why your scientists who seek to listen to broadcasts in the universe will not hear very much because no advanced nation broadcasts in this way. Discrete information is sent. Discrete channels of communication are established and utilized heavily. But general broadcasting is not done for the very reasons that we are describing. Therefore, the three requirements for freedom are all unmet by the human family at this time. You are not united and face the risk of greater division and conflict between your peoples and nations. You are rapidly destroying your self-sufficiency in your world. And you are hardly discreet. Broadcasting your strengths and weaknesses to all who wish to view them. These three areas then represent the primary focus for the advancement of humanity, the establishment of human unity and cooperation based upon necessity, the cessation of overuse of the world and the maintenance of its resources and all that that will require in terms of how people live and how people engage with one another in your world and the development of discrete channels of communication both through a deeper awareness and through technology. These are the three great needs of humanity. 
not only for your own well-being and your future in this world, but also to give you the opportunity to build real freedom and unity in the greater community. Any contribution that you can make as an individual and as part of the human family in this regard, is vitally important in giving humanity a greater freedom and a greater promise for the future.